What's up guys? It's a sunny day in Wildwood, New Jersey, and we are at Maury's Piers for our first visits. Actually, skyler has been here before, but it's been like 80 years since she's been here. This is a pretty cool major boardwalk park that a lot of people talk about. It's split up into three different piers. You got Mariner's Pier, which we're doing first. That one's open from 1 p.m. all the way till midnight. And then you have the other two, Adventure Pier and Surfside Pier, which are open from 5 p.m. also till midnight. Um, hi. And we have a wristband today that allows us to ride as much as we want up until 7 p.m., which means we only really have two hours to do um, two of the three piers, but we do have basically all day to do this first pier, Mariner's Pier. Uh, the way the credits are divided is there's three credits on Mariner's Pier, then there's three on Surfside, and then one, AKA the one we're most anticipating, Great White, is on um, Adventure Pier. So it's gonna be a great day, like a credit hunt almost, kind of like uh, what my day was like at Luna Park and Dino's Wonder Wheel Park in Brooklyn, which I vlogged, but it didn't export, so you guys aren't able to see it, unfortunately. But hopefully this makes up for it. This is gonna be a fun scavenger hunt credit type thing, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to checking out the park. Apparently boardwalk parks like this are just so cool. The one, this is like one of the largest ones out there, so. You excited? I'm very excited. I've never been here. I love boardwalk parks, and I'm so excited to be here. I'm expecting this to be a top tier boardwalk park, possibly the best boardwalk park I ever go to. This and Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk look like the two best in North America, to be quite honest. So let's see how it is. Going straight into Mariner's Pier. First credit out of seven, we've done a Wild Wizard and SBF Spinner, which is hilarious because we were just riding an SBF Spinner yesterday. Before Six Flags America, off camera, we went to Funland of Fredericksburg in Virginia and got that. But we just rode another one today and it was um, fine. We just did it for the credit, obviously. I mean, who rides SBF Spinners for actual pure enjoyment? Unless I you're like do. Four. I love them so much. No, I'm kidding. They're, I literally. I mean, so top boring. five overall. They're literally so boring. Me and Skylar were just like sitting there, like talking. I actually saw other riders spinning like crazy. I don't know how they do it though, because we were literally just like sitting there and bored and out of our minds. Next up is yet another credit. We got Rolly's Coaster. I have no idea what this ride is. I think it's like a Pinfari or something, but it looks terrible. Everyone does not like this one. So I don't know. We'll see how it rides. Just did Rolly's Coaster, and it actually was not bad. Uh, it was very smooth, with the exception of a couple parts, like the lift hill engaging with the um, train. Also, the trim brakes were not most, the most pleasant, but the rest of the ride, like the tracking was su surprisingly smooth. I wouldn't do it again, but I'm definitely not hating the ride like I thought I would. Uh, Pinfari, you didn't do that bad. Next up is Sea Serpent Vacoma Boomerang with best restraints. This apparently is like the best boomerang ever. It like runs very well, so I'm looking forward to trying it out. It seems to me like Maurice Pierce takes good pride in their maintenance because they just completely retract Great White. Uh, this is supposed to be like a really smooth boomerang. The SLC on the other pier is supposed to be a really smooth SLC. So I don't know, everything just sounds pretty good to me. So nice, my 350th credit, what a milestone, right? We just hit 300, now we're at 350. But it was Sea Serpent, Vacoma Boomerang with best restraints, runs the smoothest of any boomerang I've ever ridden. It's honestly just as good as its reputation suggests. It's the best boomerang I've ever been on and I don't see that changing like ever, honestly. That was actually a really fun ride. It's very intense. And what I love about that ride is obviously it's smooth so you can enjoy that intensity without getting your head smashed or being wobbled around everywhere. It's honestly just a good time. Did you like Sea Serpent? I loved it, it's my new favorite boomerang and it was just 
enjoyable. It wasn't rough. It was, you know, the first boomerang that you can really just enjoy, you know? Yeah, I mean, a lot of boomerangs really are not the most comfortable. I'd actually probably take that over um, some Skyrocket 2s with comfort colors because I don't really like those. Um, the Latwar ones, I'd probably take a little bit over that, but I still think that that was a really fun ride, to be honest, and I'm, I'm glad to have made it a 350th credit. I think that's a f fair 350th coaster. Skyler. Hi. I love that. That was my <laughs> favorite boomerang of all time. Super smooth, super intense. Did not feel like a boomerang. I don't know. We're doing the Ferris wheel now. We're gonna get all this stuff off credit. We're gonna be doing a bunch of flat rides at this uh, Mariner's Pier Park. And so we're gonna be uh, getting on the other credits in a couple hours when those piers open, but I'm just gonna kind of fast forward the vlog to that point so that you I don't have to bore you guys with random flat rides and carnival rides and all that stuff. So I'll see you guys from Surfside Pier. Does a family coaster really get more enjoyable than Runaway Tram? Like that was so smooth and so fun. Loki a zippy family coaster too. I really liked it. I didn't know Zero could build a family coaster that great to be honest. Like that was really, really enjoyable. Anyways, next up we have one of the three big coasters here at Maury's. Uh, this is Great Nor'easter of a Coma SLC that actually has a good reputation. Can you believe it? An SLC with a good reputation. That is not very common, but we're gonna check it out. Apparently like it has best restraints, it's very smooth. It got a whole retracking in 17, I believe. And it just looks like a pretty fun ride, really intertwined with a lot of water slides and near misses and stuff. So it should be a fun time. Okay, so scratch that. Great Nor'easter and Doo have been testing like all day and even at 5 p.m., the extremely late opening of 5, they are not ready to be opened yet. Uh, Doo Whopper actually got stuck on one of the mid-course break runs and uh, Nor'easter is testing a bunch as normal still and I'm sure that'll open in a second, but the we, we asked the ride off, like when will it open? And he says it might open today, it might open tomorrow. Obviously that's cap. Um, it's going to open today, it's very obvious. I mean, we're, we're just gonna pass time by running Great White, which I'm very, very excited about. Just got off of our most anticipated coaster here at Maury's. Great White was really fun. Didn't really have much air time at all. I was kind of expecting a little bit more air time, but what it did have is a, a lot of laterals, which is a great thing. I mean, straight out of the station, you go underground into these flat bank turns, which are awesome into the lift hill. And then the rest of the ride, there's a bunch of laterals and it's really, really fun. I also think the setting is just incredible. It literally goes onto the sand at one point, like on the beach. It's so cool. It definitely is the only real reason to get out to Adventure Pier though. It's definitely the most depressing of the three piers. Like there's not a whole lot to do here unless you're willing to pay up charge attractions. But this ride makes it worth coming out to this pier because it is a really fun ride. And it's also a CCI and you know, CCIs are a dying breed. So yeah, it's it's pretty fun. Skylar was like in a middle row, so she didn't really enjoy it that much. There was like a tiny bit of lots, absolutely no air time. Okay. We're going again because I like liked it. It just wasn't as good as I thought. There's no wow be. factor. Yeah. Yeah, it was all right. I like the laterals and that's basically, and the setting, and that's basically it. It really didn't have air time like I was expecting or well, but you know, we're gonna do it again, see if it's any better. Talk about a close call. We got on Dew Whopper and or Easter literally right before seven. Actually, we got on Dew Whopper past seven. So basically we sprinted over to this uh, pier right here and wanted to see if the coasters that were closed earlier were now open. And it turned out as we got onto this pier, they literally were opening. So we got extremely lucky. Nora Easter, we got on it probably five minutes before close. And Dew Whopper, we got in line past close and we're um, worried that we weren't gonna be able to get park completion and we're gonna miss that credit. But still we got on the ride so that means park completion i don't know how we pulled that off but i'm so grateful that we did obviously you know you know we have to spend good money to get to maury's and and ride all the rides here because it's not a cheap park boardwalk parks are not cheap but it looks like we got our money's worth we got park completion today really was not expecting it but we did it skylar 
I'm really glad we were able to get on those last few rides. Um, I didn't think that we were going to be able to, but um, the wristbands just kind of didn't. They're magic. Yeah, so I think it's kind of a weird park in the way that they <laughs> keep the rides open, but like it has a good collection of rides. I know! That's gonna do it for Maury's. Um, we're rushing to get to the car now. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.